Hi, this guy is the Yixing E011. It's the replacement for the uh, E010. Um, this is the quad that it comes with. It, they're calling it a uh, mini toy brick quad. It has this Lego character that they're calling the Dark Knight. Not the B Batman Dark Knight. They're just calling this red guy the Dark Knight. Uh, it has 6 axis gyro, so it has auto stabilization. 2.4 gigahertz for the frequency. It's a 4 channel uh, uh, transmitter receiver setup. It comes with a 260 milliamp battery, and this is rated at 35C. So it should have some pretty good punch out because it's rated so high in the C. It should be able to handle the current draw. Uh, the transmitter itself is bigger than the one that came with the E010. And it also has these sticks that come up. So you can have more throw with the sticks. The sticks pop up a little bit so that uh, you have more control over the quad. And that's a nice little feature. This uh, is not using the same protocol as the uh, E010. It's using Bei Yang protocol. So when you set up your Devo 7 to fly this guy, you need to set it up to be Bei Yang, not the E010 protocol. Uh, the uh, transmitter is powered by three AAA batteries. That you'll need to supply for it. It doesn't have any shoulder buttons. What they replace the shoulder buttons with is buttons for the sticks. So you press down on the sticks to go in the headless mode and to do your, your rate changes. Uh, the flight time with this uh, Lego character is about five minutes. With the FPV setup, you actually get more than five minutes. You actually get like five and a half minutes because this is this is like six point eight grams, and uh, uh, FPV all-in-one camera is only about five grams. So with the two hundred sixty milliamp battery, uh, you get about five and a half minutes if you do an FPV setup. Uh, the flying distance with this guy is about fifty meters, and with the Devo. Uh, and it's deviated is about 70 meters and at that range this little guy looks like a dot in the sky So really that that's not a critical range uh, This by itself is about 20 grams and that's with the the added uh, weight for these bigger motors with this uh, Dark Knight Lego character. It's about 26.8 grams and with the all-in-one camera. It's about 25 grams some of the nice features that it has it has this this brick uh lego character you can put on the top this is the canopy for the top and you can have something called uh, uh what i like to call is uh battle mode you can put this on top and it has two two models it has uh this model that it's calling the dark knight and it also has the uh bright saint which actually looks more like batman than uh than the the uh, uh the Dark Knight, and what you can do is put the two characters on top of the quad and have battle mode where you're flying against the opponent and you're trying to knock these characters off of the, the quadcopter. And more more times than any, it's it's you bump in this stuff and these characters get knocked off. Knocked off. But it, it needs to have like a battle mode with that. Uh, it has these bigger motors. It has these uh, seven, uh, seven sixteen motors, which are bigger than the old uh, six fifteen motors. These seven sixteen motors can go about sixty thousand RPMs. Has two flight modes, uh, like a medium and an expert mode. Uh, you, uh, has headless mode. Uh, which I never use has one key return which I never use uh, it has uh, lights on, on here but the lights are backwards let me power it up and uh, give you an example one thing that it has it's nice is that these batteries can now 
or these battery connector can now support low C type connectors. And what they did is they put the uh, the red light in the front and they put the blue light in the back. So it's backwards. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. They, they didn't do that with the E010. But one thing that's nice is that I'm, I'm ha I have it hooked up now with a low C type uh, connector for the battery. And this uh, uh, connector here has a cutout so that the low C connector can fit here. The polarity is, is backwards. Like uh, I, I uh, color all mine to get the polarity so that I know which is the plus side. And uh, the polarity is backwards. But it's nice that it, it accepts low C connectors before you had to do a mod uh, to actually cut these so that you could put low C type batteries on there now you don't have to do that uh, has uh, the, the lights that I mentioned it can do flips it has a flip so you can do 360 flips with this uh, I has uh, one key return and headless mode which I never use the major changes that it has over the E010 is these motors are much bigger, much more powerful, and they're faster. Has this 260 milliamp battery, it's rated at 35C now, so it should have more of a punch out. Um, it's the Bei Yang protocol to hook it up to the Devo, to deviate it. You, you uh, set it up to be a Bei Yang protocol. The controller is bigger and better. I mentioned that these sticks pop up now. It's actually a little bit bigger too. So you have a little bit more control over the the uh, the stick itself than being longer. Uh, it has the low C connectors for the battery, which is a big plus. Uh, like I mentioned, the battle mode is a lot of fun. One thing that it comes with, it comes with a bag of goodies. It has a battery charger, has four spare props, which you probably never use, and it has a screwdriver. And it comes with a, uh, a manual that's, uh, I think I've seen three different languages. It has an English, has a Chinese, and I think it has a German type manual. Uh, uh, manual. So, uh, let's go and see how this guy flies outdoors and see the punch out. This is the... E011 outdoor test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fly it with my Devo 7. It's already set up for the protocol. It's already bound. Let's bring it up and see what the punch out is. Oh wow, pretty good punch out. And it's, it has a 5 gram camera on it. Bring it back down. Let's see what the pitch is. Fighting this wind. Oh, nice pitch. Definitely fight the wind. Let's see what the yaw is. The yaw is at 125%. Bring it in close. Fight that wind. Whoa! This is the indoor flight review of the Ixing E11. Let me power it on. Seen from the outdoor footage, this little guy just doesn't handle the wind. It's, an, it's not a wind fighter. I mean, it has this, the pitch to handle the wind, but the shape of it is just not a good outdoor wind handler. Uh, let me power on my transmitter. I'm flying it with the Devo 7. Find it. It's all bound. Uh, let's uh, take it up. Let me adjust my hack can. And uh, I have this set to be real docile indoor. I'm not even going to show you the pitch. Here's the yaw, and that's at 125%. So it has a... Uh, it has okay yaw. It's not probably as good as the original one. The original one had a faster yaw. Uh, here's it flying around. I have to get used to the red being in the front. For orientation it's a pretty good flyer I mean it has that five extra grams added to it and has no problems lifting it so it's going to be a great indoor FPV flyer 
let's go and see what the final score for this guy is and what are some of the mods that you can do to it. This is the E Xing E011, the mods and the final score. Um, the major mod that I did is it, it deviated. It is uh, <clears throat> it has a Devo setting. It is Bayang B A Y A N G, <clears throat> which is the H8 Mini uh, protocol. So if you set it up to be an H8 Mini or Bayang protocol, you can fly this quad with no problem. The things that I did to the quad is I always uh, paint the the battery terminals. So I can tell polarity. Um, something else that I did is I, I put this little piece of paper on it so I can tell uh, the orientation at during the day because you really can't see the lights during the day. Uh, I mounted this TX-01 here and I just used a rubber band for mounting. What I'll, I'll have to do is, is solder two leads for the power connection. Uh, I fly it with these low C uh, batteries. Uh, Yixing makes a 260 with low, uh, low C battery connections. Uh, my final score for this guy is a 98. And the reason why I'm taking 0.2 off is because of the LEDs. This is almost a perfect indoor FPV quad. I highly recommend it. Uh, it has the, the lifting power to lift this camera with no problem. Plus it's small and you can bang into things. I wouldn't recommend it outdoors, but I would recommend it as an FPV indoor. Leave your comments and questions below and thanks for watching. Please click on the like button. Comment and subscribe.